which takes us to a story that Jesus told his disciples, a familiar story that we've heard several times over and over again. A rich man with two sons, the only left home with his share of wealth, led a sinful life, faced famine, repented and returned to his father. The story of the prophet son is not just for people who are lost, for them to come to the father, but also for those who are saved, that they may know the abundance of their father, abundant in love, forgiveness and blessings. William Shakespeare said that Luke 15 was the greatest piece of literature ever known to man. There are three phases that the prodigal son goes through. He was sick of home, and then homesick, and then finally got home. This is a story that Jesus told for everybody according to the very first verse of the chapter. Verses 4 and 5 reflect that God rejoices when the lost is found, or when a sinner repents and comes to him. Home is a place from which, when a man departs, he is always a wanderer until he returns. The younger son in the story allows a lot of distance between him and his father before he practices facts. This is comparable to our sins that cause us to be separated from the love of God. In verse 12, we read that the prodigal son asks for his portion of his father's wealth. He says, give me my portion of my wealth. But in verse 19, he says, make me one of your hired servants. A transition from arrogance to submission. We see a selfish heart that is determined to do things his own way. He was only interested in what he could take from his father, not what his father might be thinking of him. Give me, I want for myself, is the very first step of sin against him. So also it is in our lives. We only want blessings from God without wanting to know what God wants us to do. In verse 13, he went to a faraway place. The Bible doesn't say how far. Any place out of the perimeters from the Father's care is a faraway place. As long as we love God and obey God and live within His kingdom by His word, we are at home. Verses 14 to 17 tells us about the coming that followed His sinful life. All that He brought from His Father's house had gone out. He hits the rock bottom, the dead end. The lowest point of His life when no man gave unto Him. So He stole the husks that was meant for the swine just to fill up his empty stomach. And it is then when he comes to his senses. It is all, it is when all is lost, all is broken, and all is measurable, and when everything is failing, we sometimes come to our senses. In verse 18, he cries out, I have sinned against heaven and you, acknowledging that what he had done was not just against an earthly father, but against the principles of the eternal kingdom. Oftentimes we fail to see beyond our immediate circumstance and so easily sin against God. Temporary pleasures of the world blinds us from our Father's will. And then he decided to action his decision of returning to his Father's home to be a servant. I am no longer worthy to be called your son, he says. At least I will be your servant. So often we convince ourselves that we are no longer worthy to be called your children of God. Failing to realize, as in the story, that our Father is watching and waiting with his arms wide open for us to return. The rest of the story tells us about the celebration for the, for the return of the lost son. The love of our Father is always greater and better. Heaven rejoices when we return to the fold of God. A forgiving Father, a God who is willing to accept us just as we are. We further read that the brother is unhappy upset and questions his father over the rejoicing over the return of a simple brother. The father replies to him, all that I have is in Daniel, only confirming that he has more to give, more to give to him than what he will want. Our father in heaven is so abundantly rich that there is nothing that there is nothing that he cannot bless us with. This story helps us to, helps us to see the simple wandering nature of a man and the loving, forgiving beauty of God and his abundant blessing that are in store for those who seek him. May we return to God, seek his face and his kingdom. This is my prayer this afternoon. Amen. Amen.